Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, and today we're gonna chat about all things back to school. I know some of you may already have kids back in school already, but at the time that I'm filming this, we still have two weeks before my older two go back to school. So I wanted to share in this video all of the different ways that I have prepared our home, ourselves, our wardrobes for the back to school season. So not only does this include things like decluttering, organizing, bringing in new things, getting rid of some things, it also includes different habits that we want to continue to improve on in our home, in our schedules as we're heading into the school season. And be sure to stay tuned to the end where I'm gonna share the most life-changing habit that I have implemented for myself. So like I mentioned, going into any new season, I love to do a declutter of the house. I love to go through our wardrobes. I love to go through our pantry, cabinets, and supplies, and craft supplies. I wanted to see what we had and what we had to work with before I went out and bought a whole bunch of new back to school clothes and things like that. So I went through my girls' closets. They share a closet. And I have two daughters, so I usually save things from the older daughter for her sister. I pulled out anything that is not going to be used for the rest of summer and fall. If it was for winter or for a whole nother year or two from now, I pulled all of that out and organized it in our basement bins so that only what's in their closet is what is appropriate to be worn for the season. Going through this process, I thought I was going to need to buy some more clothes for them, and I did buy a few just for fun, but they already had a lot. So I think that that's really important. Just really take inventory of what you already have and what you can work with. So like I said, I did buy just a few things. Old Navy was having a good sale, and I just think they have really cute classic things, cute tops for them and a couple dresses. I did make a list of things that they will need for the winter. This was also a great time to go through my wardrobe and see what pieces I may need going into the fall season. I think it is so important as a mom when you are getting kids ready for school and you just need your mornings to be as simple as possible is just to have a simplified wardrobe of clothing that you truly love that is effortless to put on and sort of create your either capsule or your mom uniform, whatever you want to call it, your go-to pieces that make getting ready in the morning just so easy. I love dresses and I actually am going to try a little harder this year to wear them more in the cooler weather. Pretty much as soon as it gets cold, I kind of chicken out and I just you know, go over to pants and I pretty much wear pants all fall and winter. But I do want to put in a little more effort to try to wear my dresses longer. So that is something I'm working on. But I did go through my closet, decluttered anything that I don't see myself wearing again next summer and just went ahead and put those aside. We do have that free swap that we go to twice a year and that's coming up in the fall so i did have that incentive to pull some things out and set them aside to bring to the swap as far as school supplies we did buy some new things last year so we are actually going to be reusing my daughter's backpacks and their lunch boxes. I have just found that they held up really well. We gave them all a really good cleaning in the washing machine, scrubbed them up, and they're really in such great shape. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and use them again this year, and then maybe next fall if they want to you know, get something new and different, then that will be fine. As far as lunch packing supplies, I really love the Easy Lunch Boxes. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. They are just little suctioned containers with a lid and that is how we pack their lunches and then I put it in their lunch, you know, their lunch box. So that is something that we have used for a few years now. It works perfectly. I don't see myself changing that system, but I did buy a couple of these containers where you can do kind of like a yogurt parfait. It has a little container section, it has an ice pack, and then a little section for a topping and then a spoon. But you could definitely put other things in here where you want you know, something to be separated, but you want it to be cold, or just don't even use the ice pack and just have a divided container. And then we do have thermoses when they want to take something hot to lunch. 
or warm. So I have a couple different versions of them. So speaking of lunch packing, I definitely gave our pantry a little tune-up and just took out some things that we didn't need anymore. I'm trying to really eat through what we have in our pantry. It's pretty light right now because in the summertime, we just don't really buy a lot of packaged snacks. We're just home a lot, so I just do a lot of home cooking or my girls have been interested in cooking. So we just don't really have a lot in our pantry right now. So I just wanted to go through and thin out anything that we could go ahead and eat and enjoy. And then I will do the big sort of pantry restock. And I haven't done that yet. Again, like I said, we still have a couple weeks. So maybe I'll have to update you later on when that is fully restocked. But I do like to make it very grab and go for my girls. They pretty much pack their own lunches unless it's late then I'll do it for them at night or something. I like having everything at their level where they can get to everything they need and just make it really easy for them. Another area that I organized with school in mind is our front coat closet. So this is a multi-purpose space for us, but we had this little shelf at the bottom and it had a couple different things on it that I cleared off so that they have a space to put their backpacks when they're not using them and taking them to school. Generally throughout the week, to be honest, they just kind of like hang them on the back of the dining room chairs because that's kind of how our house is set up and it works well but if i want to put them away or usually put them away on the weekends i had a clear spot for them to put them there and then right next to it that box is actually their school memory keeping box so anytime they bring something home from school that we want to save i have that box right there really easy to slip something in i don't have like a pile that i need to go through at the end of the year i put it right in there and it's really easy there has definitely been a lot of tidying and organizing that I have been doing to get ready for the school season because I just want every area that we're touching and going in and accessing on a school morning or just all throughout you know this busier time of life to be simple so when we go to make lunches the pantry's clean when we go to get the backpack there's somewhere you know where they are there's somewhere for them to go when we get in the car I want it to be tidy when we you know go in their closet to get dressed I want it to be you know neat for them so i did clean out our car that was another thing i wanted to do we obviously you know have been using it all summer and there's been lots of fun outside time so the car did need a good vacuum and wipe down and then i did go ahead and treat myself to a car wash this is something i like to do periodically but to be honest i mean when I went there, they gave me a flyer and asked if I wanted to sign up for a monthly membership. And I really am debating it because that is such a like incentive for me to keep my car clean. If I know I'm going to clean it at the end, I'm going to go get a car wash. Like I love that. I'm as I'm sure most moms feel the same way. We're in our cars so much. I want it to, it's almost like an extension of our home. I want it to be clean and tidy and functional for us and have all the little bits and bobs that we need when we're out and about. So that's something I'm debating, possibly getting a membership. And then lastly for my girls, I wanted to do a deep clean of their bedroom. As um, again, if you're a mom of little kids, I'm sure you understand these spaces. If we, you know, turn our attention away from it for any amount of time, like all summer long, uh, it can get a little crazy. So it needed a mom's attention so we went in there and I just we all worked together and I really wanted to streamline it for them I just felt like to make it easier on them to keep it clean we needed some better systems so they love their stuffed animals they have so many and they're all special of course they don't want to get rid of any of them but they would just pile them up on their beds because they wanted to have them there, you know, close to them. But anytime they needed to make their bed, it was a big hassle to take everything off, make the bed, put all the stuffed animals back on. So we needed a solution. So I went to their closet and another thing my daughters love is to craft and to collect boxes and create projects with boxes and save those box projects. And it really becomes, you know, a big clutter in the closet. So I actually went ahead and moved all of the crafting boxes and creations down to our basement. So we have this closet under our stairs, which we really weren't using. We had like some empty storage boxes in there and some extra chairs. So I definitely could use that space 
for them and their craft supplies. So that's what I did. I emptied it out. It had never been finished when we renovated the basement. So I just grabbed some paint I already had and gave all that a fresh coat of paint. I moved in our old coffee table just because it was down there and it was you know easy to access. And that is where they're gonna store all of their boxes. So for the stuffed animals, I was thinking of putting little bookshelves in their closets to sort of line them up. And I couldn't find what I was looking for. So I wound up finding just these hanging organizers. And it wound up being a perfect solution. It takes up less space in the closet and they were less expensive. They were only six or seven dollars. And the best part is it's a limiting container. They can only have as many stuffed animals as will fit in this organizer. And they loved it. They thought it was a perfect solution. So now they're just gonna have a couple on their bed that they like to hang out with for the day. And then if they want to change it, they'll just exchange with one from their closet. So now this will make their bed making so much easier on them. And that's really what I wanted for them. And there's just so much more open floor space. Another area they have is this little dresser that's between their beds and they like to put some of their special things on top. So rather than just having all these things loose and then they fall off or they fall to the back, I just grabbed a couple baskets that I already had in the house and put those on top of their dressers. So my goal in this deep clean for them was to kind of reset the room and bring it back to a clean slate so that it can be maintained. We kind of went all summer with just doing, you know, a general tidy, like just make sure you have somewhere you can walk, you know? But this, I think, is going to set them up for success so much better. They now have a baseline that can be maintained. I can come in and vacuum and mop for them and we're gonna get into the habit of them keeping it this way, making their beds in the morning and all that fun stuff. Okay, so the habit that has made the biggest impact these past few weeks and as we're heading into the school season is that I have finally embraced the early morning wake up. This is something that I have wanted to do for years now I would see how productive people could be in the morning and it just seemed too difficult for me in my time with a young baby and not getting a lot of sleep it just wasn't something that I felt I was ready to do so when my son finally started sleeping through the night I have all four sleeping through the night I finally started getting myself up earlier and now I'm waking up at least two hours before the kids, sometimes two and a half hours, and it has been life-changing. I, again, I this is something I always strived for, just having those quiet morning hours to myself where I'm truly not being interrupted. I used to always just stay up later and try to get things done in the evening when my kids were in bed, but they are not always in bed or they're in bed but they're not quite asleep or they're coming out for something and I just never had uninterrupted quiet you know in the house which is just life as a mom I understand but I always had a goal to wake up earlier and now I have been doing it I see the light sometimes I will go out for a walk in the morning when everyone's still asleep I'll get my laundry completely done which I used to always stay up you know, in the evening, my last task was always like fold a little laundry. But now my laundry is pretty much done before the kids even wake up. So I highly encourage you, if you have children that are sleeping through the night, just wake up a little bit earlier. That's kind of what I did. I did like a half hour earlier and then I said, okay, let me wake up an hour earlier. And now I've kind of, you know, worked my way up to a couple hours. So some days I'm up around 5.30, sometimes it's six. And I know some people are up even earlier than that, but for me right now, that is working really well. And I just, again, feel so accomplished and productive. And I feel like I'm more present with my kids when they are up because I have already gotten done the things that I need to do. So that is my back to school prep that I have accomplished so far. We do have a couple more little last minute things to do, but I hope that was helpful to all of you mamas that are heading back to school or if you're already in the swing of the school routine. Bless you, we're gonna have a great year. I am looking forward to it. I feel like I am 
truly entering a new season of life that I've never been in before and I'm excited for it. So thank you so much for being here. If you are new, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon.